The portrait lens close-up eliminates the need to flip the lens in the camera, but flipping the lens gives you the blurry edges bokeh that is a different creative aspect to have available. Ilford Delta 3200, March 1st, 2016. I'm going to attempt to print some 6x6 negatives that I took out of the statue. I used the Hawken camera, Kodak Hawkeye camera, with a flipped lens. This is a Bessler 23C and larger, and the condenser head has been moved up to two and a quarter by two and a quarter. I'm using a new lens. That's a Bessler Color Pro. But that little post should be close to you. It goes right in. And the nice thing is it moves very easily. The Saunders 16 by 20 easel is used, but I have to use it sideways with the right side towards the back. This 16 by 20 easel opens up from the long side and it has a little foot that locks it open when it's up. In order for me to print my photograph on the paper vertically, I have to put it underneath the enlarger in, in a horizontal position. So the lineup is, is set by the paper cutter. I bump the paper cutter. That's how far over to the left it goes. And then I use this little box of plates and I push it back and that's how far back it goes on each side. So once I get the paper loaded I don't have to try to lift it. When I do load the paper I have to move it over about an eighth of an inch because this side was a little bit wider than this side and I can't get it get the picture any further that way. So I have to move the paper over to make the border smaller. I've laid out a piece of 16 by 20 paper vertically. So I'm going to have the square format in a vertical field. I have one inch on the left and right. And uh, I don't know. I think it's one and three quarter inches on top and then the rest is like about four and a quarter. Alright, the picture is all framed up. It's 13 and 7 eighths inches square. I've changed the enlarger head to 18 exactly. I'm just going to make it 18 no matter what. And I think that'll be fine. See, it's right on the line there. And this one doesn't really move much. It's all the way up. This one moves a little bit. This one moves a little bit. And you can actually see the edge of the picture. I'm using the Bessler 8060. Can you see that? The picture is shiny side up and faces towards the back. I would have to cut the negative to get it to fit vertically. And I don't want to cut the negatives apart and use single frame plastic holders. 
I use the three frame and four rows. This one, this negative holder is very, very tight and flat. The edge is like, there's no air in between there. You cannot slide the negative. You'll probably scratch it if you try. I have a new procedure for developing 16 by 20 prints now. I haven't used it yet. This plywood board was made a long time ago for watercolor painting. I had to put two spacer boards on it and I stuck a nail through it. So what happens is it fits on the sink like that. It's a little too big but this is absolutely flat. It slides easily. It'll get stuck if you're not square, but it slides easily out of the way. So what I'll do is, my procedure will be, I'll put the stop bath on the tray. I'm only using half a gallon and I slosh it around so that's easy it's not too full I can move it out of the way not worry about it the fixer is moved up the sink will be filled with hot with with water to keep the trays at a uniform temperature and then I use this washer in the sink. I put the drain in the sink and the fill is connected over here and then this will be connected to the spout after the sink is filled. So that'll that'll stay in the sink. Now you can't move it once there's water in it. That's a lot of water up to here. It drains out automatically and the sink will have water in it. But I could get at the developer, then this will be temperature adjusted. Stop bath it and I'll move it over. Take the print out and put it in the fixer. Then it'll go into the water. I'm only doing two or three at a time, so that'll work great. Then I just dump everything out and start over. RC paper is being used, and it doesn't curl. It works great. I'm just doing RC. I'm hoping this method will work for me, so that I can make more than one print at, it at the same time. And what I do is I hang them up on these hooks. I belong to an art group that meets the first Thursday of every month. So the main idea of positioning the photograph on 16 by 20 paper in this manner was to be able to frame it inexpensively. There's no mounting, there's no matting. The picture is on the paper and the paper fits in the frame. It's an inexpensive frame but it looks good for photographs. We have a show and tell at the beginning of the meeting and I get to show my picture to a large group of people. A better method is to use the board to hold two trays. It still slides, but this way you can do the fix after the stop bath, and you could wash, and then the photo flow is in here. One thing you have to remember is when you're washing and water's coming into this tub, you have to pull the plug out at least sometimes, or the sink will fill up. 
This method works real well. All right, that worked pretty good. I actually washed the prints in the sink and then in the tub. I got four of them. They're hanging up. Bumping the, the, uh, the easel over worked most of the time. This was the last one and uh, has the least exposure. That was the most exposure. A little bit less, even less. That's <laughs> pretty cool. There's the test. The test was done on 8x10 paper instead of a piece of the 16x20, and that does not work well. The 8x10 prints lighter than the 16x20, so uh, my prints came out a little too dark. 